Welcome to the Pathy demonstration of automatic detection of path holes and obstacle detection on roads by using this ultrasonic sensor and MEM sensor and these two are interfaced to the Arduino Nano board. So here we have interfaced the Arduino Nano board. So which is taking input from the sensors like ultrasonic and MEMS ADXL345 and the output is controlled through the DC motors through this L293D motor driver and uh, audible buzzer indication alerting and also red LED and green LED. So here uh, the operations of the project is like we are going to detect the obstacles with the help of ultrasonic sensor. Whenever the obstacle detects, red LED will be on and buzzer will be on and if the path holes detects, so that will be detected by this uh, MEM sensor. Whenever the vehicle is tilts based on this uh, like uh, path holes, then we are getting the buzzer alerts as well as green LED indication. So if the obstacle detects, robo will be stops also, means red LED, buzzer, robo stops. For path hole detects only, green LED, buzzer will be on. So these are the outputs from our microcontroller Arduino Nano board. So here, coming to this uh, sensor's description, ultrasonic sensor is a model we are using SR04. So in this one, we have the two sections. One is a transmitter, other is a receiver. So when the transmitter transmits the ultrasonic waves, means sound waves, so if any obstacle presents in front of that, then the surface of this particular obstacle will reflect the those transmitted ultrasonic waves and that will be reflected by the obstacle and received by this receiver module. Then the microcontroller will get the signal. So it will capture the time in which time it will receive that and also as we know the sound speed. So from there we are going to calculate the distance. So speed into time we will get the distance. So our ultrasonic sensor model can measure up to 4 meters. So if uh, we provided the condition inside the nano bodies, if the obstacle is uh, distance of the obstacle is less than the 30 centimeters means 1 feet distance, then automatically we are going to on the buzzer and on the red LED and stopping up a vehicle till obstacle moves away and coming to the MEMS accelerometer it will uh, work based on the earth gravity force so when we are tilting this so it will provide us the inclination in terms of voltage in x direction and y direction so whenever the vehicle is moving if any path hole detects so then automatically that will be identified by our MEMS sensor and the microcontroller will detect the difference between the normal position and inclination position so then it will provide the output for green LED only and buzzer so it won't stop the vehicle moving so coming to the vehicle movements it will be done through this l293d motor driver so it will get the signals from the nano board based on the signals from these sensors so l293d motor driver can control the two dc motors at a time so the purpose of this l293d is if you want to control the motor so directly by uh, switching on and off we can control but we can control that in any one direction so, but if you want to control in bi-directional one, then we need to use the L293D as it has the dual H-bridge circuit configuration inside that. So that we can control that uh, motors in two directions. And the next, the whole system getting power supply from this 12 volt, 1 amp battery, which is rechargeable battery. So let me show you how to recharge that battery. So just connect the 230 volts cable to this transformer. So the transformer will step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts AC and this regulated power supply board will regulate that 12 volts AC to 12 volts DC which is the main charging voltage to the battery. So it will be fully charged in a duration of 6 to 8 hours. So once the time completes you can disconnect the charger and uh, there is an on off switch for the whole kit. So this on off switch. So below is the on, above is the off. So this is the breadboard. So here the this board is a breadboard in order to distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout the inputs and output modules. So this is a parallelly connected connections. This we are distributing the 5 volts power supply. So let us see the demonstration. So initially buzzer on off two times and then it starts moving. So obstacle detects automatically stops and red LED on. So we can see if any bump detects then automatically the green LED on as indication of bumps detected. Right. So let me show you that again. Obstacles only stops the vehicle. Bumps only beeps and LED indication till the bump goes away. Right.